Hi everyone, what's up and welcome back to another video. My name is Jordan, if you are new here, I am a professional figure skater and I work on a cruise ship. So today we are talking all about packing and we're not just talking about it, we're gonna be doing it. I need to get a head start on packing because I am currently preparing to go back to work and I am so excited. I have been waiting for this day for literally over a year now. So um, these last few weeks, I'm just prepping and getting everything ready to go for my departure date. So I have the day entirely to myself today. So I figured I would take full advantage and start packing and get as much of my packing done today as I can. Obviously, I can't pack every single thing because I still have a few weeks before I leave and I'm so excited and I got some new stuff since last contract. So we're gonna have fun. I absolutely love watching packing videos and I find it really, really useful for when I'm going on a trip. So hopefully this is useful to any of you who, you know, want to maybe work on a cruise ship in the future or currently are a seafarer and you're going to be returning to work in the coming months. Or maybe it's just entertainment. Either way, I'm going to show you everything that I'm packing. I feel like I have a way better idea on what to pack and how to pack this contract because last contract I was completely in the dark and I completely underestimated just how small the cabins and the closet space was so yeah definitely gonna be packing a lot less this time around the first thing I know I absolutely need to pack is my name tag which is right here and then I also need to pull out my blues which is my Royal Caribbean uniform confused blues are just our uniform for when you're around guest areas before 6 p.m. so this is just the shirt we have to wear it says Royal Caribbean International and then it also says it on the back like so I had to pay for this last time I believe so if I forgot it I have to buy a new uniform which I don't want to do and then this is just the jacket that goes along with it it's pretty thin um, and it just has the little anchor right there yeah and then for pants for the uniform, I'm just wearing my Lululemon pants. I just bought navy joggers to go along with that, so it'll look nice and clean. So that's all set. I'm going to go through my closet now and pull out like everyday clothes, things that I know I will wear a bunch on the ship, and just like easy things to pack like body suits, tank tops, crop tops, blouses, stuff like that. Even though we were in the Caribbean, I did live in like comfy clothes, hoodies, crew neck, stuff like that because I'm always freezing in crew areas. So I'm gonna also pack some of that stuff as well. Okay, so here's what we're working with so far. I've pulled, oh my god, I haven't pulled leggings yet. Oh my god. See, this stresses me out because I want to try and pack less than last time, but I also need to pack enough to last me the entire contract. So this is hard. So I think as time goes on, I'm going to keep pulling more to leave at home. But again, I won't really know till I put it in the suitcase. I've been trying to limit myself, but it's just so hard. So here I've got bodysuits, more bodysuits, some like crop tops and blouses. These are all workout tops right here. More blouses, like dressy blouses for guest areas. Those are long sleeves for skating. Some shorts, more shorts, two workout jackets. These are all skirts. Right now I've got like five skirts, which I think is decent. Um, then I've got four pairs of pants. I do also have two flannels I'm packing because I love my flannels. They're so easy to throw on. And right now I've got three pairs of jean shorts and a jean jacket. And then I have a like cropped zip up, my cast hoodie from Allure, my buffalo crew neck, and then my pinkies up hoodie. And then here are my blues. So yes, it's a lot of stuff, 
but like remember I won't be home the entire time. I'm in the spare bedroom right now, which is actually where I keep my bathing suits, my dresses, more skirts, and shoes. I know I have an issue. Um, yes, I'm well aware I need to get rid of clothes. But I'm going to just pull a few things from here and add it to the pile. But I think I'm going to use the back room for packing because I have all this open space. And as you can see right here, I've got my toiletries and makeup and whatnot. So let's pull some stuff from the closet. Hello everyone, it's the next day. My mom actually just bought me a new pair of white sneakers, which I'm so excited about. I've got to show you guys um, because part of our uniform requirement is white sneakers. So she also bought me some sunscreen. Of course, a necessity. But here's the box. So they are the brand Dance Skin. I think it's like a dancewear brand. I don't know. But here are the shoes. I think they're so cute. And they kind of remind me of like the Yeezy sneakers ever so slightly. They're so lightweight, guys. Like these are going to be like walking on clouds. I don't know. I think they should work. I think they're really cute. And they were like 12 or 13 dollars obviously i'm gonna pack those and i haven't pulled any of my other shoes yet so i'm gonna do that i'm also going to pull some of my workout leggings because i haven't grabbed any of those yet and then i'm going to maybe bring my suitcase up start putting stuff in just to get a rough idea <laughs> So here's all the shoes I'm bringing. I have six pairs. I think I might grab a pair of flip-flops as well just to have for like the beach or whatever, but I've got my sneakers. I got two pairs of sandals, brown and black, my Vans high tops, and then I have two pairs of heels, one nude and one black. I just laid out all the suits I'm going to be packing. Yes, I know. I'm bringing a lot of suits, but they're all brand new. I got some from Black Bow and some from Dippin' Daisies and I'm obsessed with all of them and I haven't been able to use any of them yet. So I'm packing them. Plus they're really, really small to pack. So it's not gonna take up that much space. And I like to have my options. How am I supposed to narrow it down when these are all so different in their own ways? And I can mix and match and oh, it's gonna be great. Okay, so I have made a lot of progress. I got rid of a ton of stuff in my pile and put that all away back in my closet, but I packed up the entire suitcase. Here is my packing list. I still haven't packed underwear, socks, skating socks, fishnets, like all my stuff for the shows, but that all goes in one bag. And then all this stuff goes in my backpack. It's all like my fun stuff. And then as well as my tech so my laptop, all my cords, camera, stuff like that. Like I'm gonna be using everything until I leave, so that's why that's not packed, but I'm feeling pretty good about this. Here are just a few things I pulled that are gonna go into my carry-on. So I'm packing three pairs of sunglasses, I've got my speaker, two phone cases to switch out, 
headphones, my GoPro, and all the cords that go with it. And then these are all like notebooks, folders. Also, my dad ordered a bunch of face masks, so my mom just put a ton in this little Ziploc baggie. Shout out to Suze. Um, and I'm gonna pack these because COVID. I'm gonna bring three hats. So I just have a pink bucket hat from Black Bow, and then I have two little baseball caps. So this one's from my friend Morgan and I love it. And then this one's just a polo hat. I just pulled my fishnets and all my skating socks. And then I also have this big mountain of socks because I go through them like crazy. And I also have a pair of flip flops. So I'm going to start filling my second check bag um, with all of that stuff and see where we are at. It's another day. This is clearly a week long ordeal. It's not gonna take me one day to pack, but I was just down in the basement trying to get my like carry on bag, my backpack, and I found a suitcase I didn't even know I had. So here is the bag I found. It's from the Youth Olympics, and I know it doesn't look like much, but it is actually pretty deep. And then the inside has like a hard bottom, so it's gonna be more durable than this suitcase so i mean it's not even full but i'm gonna transfer everything over I go to pack up my carry-on and Missy Miss makes herself nice and comfortable on my backpack. What are you doing? Look at how, I wish I could bring her with me. Look at that face. She's literally looking me dead in the eye like, what? She said, you ain't leaving, bitch. <laughs> Okay, so I'm pretty much done guys. Like the only thing I have left to pack is my laptop and my cameras, which obviously I'm using. Um, but my carry-on is packed. My second suitcase is packed and so is my third. And I kind of transferred a few things from here to this suitcase just because this one has a lot of space still and it's not as heavy as this one, but they're both like 40 pounds. Actually, this one's 32 and this one is 40. So we are doing good. Pretty much done. Like I said, there's still a few things last minute that I have to throw in the bags, like my laptop, my makeup, and my cameras, which I'm obviously using. Um, but other than that, I'm completely packed. So I am ready to go, guys. Like, it's really happening, and I'm feeling a lot better now that everything is really put into the bag and yeah, I am so, so, so excited. It's getting so unbelievably real. Yeah, less than a week and I will be on my way. But that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed packing with me. Stay tuned for a ton of very exciting vlogs coming soon. Um, travel vlogs and first days in quarantine and on the ship. So yeah, very, very excited. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me. I love you all to the moon and back and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.